and welcome to my channel honey love honey's world if you're new to this channel like subscribe turn the notifications on make sure you comment down below and also follow me on my other social networks snapchat it's underscore honey love instagram it's underscore honey love and today we are going to do another dilemma another agony aunt with honey yeah these women and problem 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 everybody have problem here we go guys yeah she says salam alaikum i hope you and the family are good inshallah we're good sis um what am i about what am i what i'm about to say i honestly know what i need is a second opinion i'm single 26 year old somali woman just that alone can be a guess this is a huge topic discussions in some Somali households. Everyone's different. My dad, alhamdulillah, is okay and always says that I'm right to have standards. I'm not just going to marry anyone. I know what I have and I know what I have to offer. I know what I want and I tend to be patient and trust Allah until the right individual comes along. I have full faith that he will be sent to me when I least expect it. Girl, you know what you're talking about. That's when men come, you guys, when you least expect it. When you go looking, you ain't gonna find a man. Anyway, my Edo is the one with the derogatory, unnecessary comments. Why is it always the females though? I just don't get it. It's, I find women are more negative than the men. You're wasting your years. Your blood has been spilled. What the hell does that mean? Look at all these younger girls giving birth, etc, etc. You name it. She even filled my arbor's head with all this. And he is recently started siding with her. Her niece lives with us and she is 21 years old and she's getting married now and good for her. They are turning this into something negative. All of them saying, ha, huh, I found a husband for you. Can you believe she's leaving home before you and i keep saying that i'm truly happy for her seriously that uh, seriously and that i hope allah blesses their marriage they however love to discuss and focus on me i honestly would love nothing better than getting married and starting my own family one day obviously who wouldn't i just find it hard finding someone in this day and age so it's going to take some time and it is what it is that was part one okay another part what do i do with them just keep ignoring them leave it in god's hands or what goes around comes around i'm confronted i've confronted them plenty of times before and they always promise to change but they never i haven't spoken to her, um my her niece in five months and i don't plan to ever again i'm not attending her wedding so that relationship is over just sad because that's someone that I've helped my whole life with everything you can ever think of and she turns around and this arrogant attitude about everything extremely entitled bratty okay so that is part one yeah. how to deal with her family do you know what what can you do is your family ignore them seriously like when they start talking like you know all that say Put it in one ear out the other like that's all you can do because at the end of it it's your dad well your dad seemed like he you know he's he is smart up there he you know he knows about standards so just speak to your dad and just say dad when i'm ready i'm ready you know when allah wills then i will get married you know just drop the religion card on them Abo, I, it's haram it's haram you know going out it's hard <laughs> just drop that speak to your dad your air door ignore her seriously don't talk don't talk bad just ignore like out of mind out of sight your cousin hopefully you will you know you will mend that relationship she will mature very fast inshallah and she'll probably come and apologize if she's a good person for you know everything that she's created and the whole you know why aren't you married you know i can just imagine what she would say to you oh i'm leaving the house before you you're stuck here uh, i got married you're getting oh you know the typical talk within our community so yeah just ignore them one ear out the other and just 
just do use this concentrate on you that don't make them feel bad in terms of your age like you, you, the man you want will come in your life when you're lo looking seriously the more you go out looking you're not gonna find him seriously when you least expect pow he will come and then you take it from there but don't feel like you ever need, you know need to be under the pressure of rushing into marriage because when you feel like you're under pressure to rush you make the wrong decisions you marry the wrong type of men and because you're thinking oh my god my biological clock is ticking right no you either get married older with your soul partner raising those kids in a two-parent home forever till death do us part when you rush and you settle you'll get married happy get a child and then it doesn't work out your senses come you wake up from the coma and you're like what the fuck why did i marry this person why and then divorce and now you're you know struggling as a single parent which can be done but it's hard so that's what pressure does to you makes you make judgments that you do not need so do what's good for you um the next question is a stupid question a guy it's stupid because I know I should let it go I'm not dumb but I'm feeling things are here I've had this feeling for an individual for a very long time now I know him on Instagram haha <laughs> he's a motivational speaker within the community and seems like a lovely guy I've had conversations with him here and there but never about the type of relationship I mean I'm pretty sure I've hit it with him I've hit it on him indirectly by always supporting him. He's always she shared deep stuff with me about himself and me with him. But again, never anything romantic. Babe, what do I do? Men are usually the hunters and I feel like the chase and feel and like the chase. He felt some type of way he would have said something. But I know he's going through something right now and maybe a relationship isn't on his list. I, I don't know. For me, like to like someone is huge, Wallahi. Everyone knows me. I just don't like someone. But he has intrigued me in a way no man has ever. Do I tell him my feelings possibly risk rejection or do I just take a chance? Says, please, I need your help. <laughs> Sahib. I am a firm believer of, yeah? If uh, you don't ask for what you want, you will never get. Because I see so many Somali sisters that are like, oh my God, I like him, but you know, I'm not gonna approach him. Hard time, me personally, I don't like any person that approaches me. I like, because Sahib, let me tell you something, yeah? When you approach somebody, it's because you genuinely like them, you like how they look you like their personality you like them but when somebody approaches you you still have to get Sahib, I, I get turned on by going to a guy and saying you know what I like you what are you saying and a lot of sisters miss out because they don't have the confidence it's 2020 babes why are we waiting for men to chase us go and do the chasing tell that guy I like you what you know you're already talking whatever just tell him you know what i I've got feelings for you what are you saying it's as simple as that because if you don't ask you don't get and it's 220 so what what so what if he rejects you on to the next one bye okay fine see you done that don't, I'm still your friend on to the next one but best you believe yeah when you start falling for me know that I've moved on that's the type of confidence we need in t20 girls get what's yours if you like somebody go and hunt him but um bear in mind make sure he's you know you do your crb checks um he's not married he's not planning to get married um he hasn't got a second wife a first wife like whatever rocks your boat to be really but do your cbr checks and know that it's whatever whatever circumstances in, he's in it's okay by you because some of these men are liars they lie some of these men will tell you they're single when they're married with 2.4 kids at home be careful ladies don't get me started that's a different type of conversations men that lie and how to deal with them but yeah 
in terms of this you like the guy you know you're already talking he's already opened up to you you never know he might like you or he might have friend zoned you you need to get out of the friend zone yeah because i find you know when you're when yeah he might have friend zoned you but you need to get out of the friend zone tell him how you feel and just take it from there babes it's 2020 you ain't got time to waste time is money um get your man and if he rejects you onto the next one but yeah you guys there's the dilemma um make sure you follow me on instagram it's underscore honey love snapchat it's underscore honey love make sure you subscribe turn your notifications on um oh, what's the other word notifications subscribe comment below like <laughs> bear with me you guys I'm, I'm getting there okay i'm like what coming up to my second month of youtube i've been pretty consistent so be roll with me roll with me okay but yeah um i'll see you guys again very soon coming back with either a family fun day with the playlist with the kids either a dilemma or another you know well i'm gonna start my story time soon so um a couple of story time videos because a lot of you guys were like honey can you tell this story can you tell this story so i'm gonna do that as well but yeah take care see ya